This is Mike Diamond at the 25th Annual GLAAD Media Awards in New York City. We've got an exciting night coming up. You know you're going to feel it. Hi. I'm wearing a lucky dice in your honor, I, Fortune. I need it. I need it. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Because i got to start the show and make people laugh, and they better, they better laugh. I'm How are you going to do that? Nervous. Tell me your best joke right now. I'm going to take my clothes off. What brings you to the GLAAD Awards tonight? Uh, so I'm an actor, um, and so I've been in a lot of LGBT-type films, and I had a show on the Sundance Channel called Girls Who Like Boys Who Like Boys. Um, we got nominated like two years ago for um, a media award, and they asked me to be here, and I'm happy to be here. You know, Glad has always supported me, and I'm always going to support Glad probably. Girls who like end. boys who like girls who have accents. All that. You guys, I totally heard a rumor that Diana Ross was going to be here. Um, it's a rumor that I started four seconds ago, so please spread it. Tell us what brings you to the Glad Award. Well, my support for the amazing thing that is Glad, and the show that I'm doing right now, Elementary, is nominated for an award. So, okay, so you might snatch a trophy tonight. I might snatch a trophy. <laughs> so now we are at the Waldorf Astoria. We are the very fancy Waldorf schmancy. Astoria. Very fancy schmancy. What makes it infamous? Yes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so who are some of the nominees you're excited to see this evening? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now you are known for your dancing. Do you get to do high kicks on the show as the maid? I do not get to high kick on the show. Well, they need to work not on yet. that. No. Were you shocked by the success of Orange is the New Black? I'm still in shock. Are you? See, this is my shock face. <gasps> are you gasping? Are you gagging? Well, it's amazing. <laughs> now what are you working on? We're working on a whole range of issues. One that's really important to me is the international work. Mm. Now we got to bring change to places like Russia, Uganda, Nigeria, India. I'm from Egypt, and we need some change there. And glad's the organization to do it. Working through the media. Uh, you representing in that jacket? I love it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, are you gonna get lucky? I don't know. Buy me a drink, Mister. <laughs> no, really, I'm dehydrating. They give the reporters nothing. What are the odds of a revival of Taboo? Um, the, the odds are very good. Really? We've, we've actually written a new script and we are in talks with people to do a new production. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, no, it's something that I want to happen. People need to see it. They do, mm -hmm. they do. What are the kids like today? Is it the hip hop or the house? Girl, that's a question that I don't even know how to answer because I'm trying to figure it out myself. I think it's more open now. Mm -hmm. I think music... Remember the 80s or No, 90s? I'm 20. Okay, yeah, me too. But I've heard that in the 80s and 90s, from what I've heard from my parents, they told me that music was very versatile mm -hmm. and there was a wide variety and you heard Barry White and then you heard New Order all on the same station. So I kind of think we're there. Mm -hmm. In 2014, okay. where we're kind of hearing a lot of different varieties. Like a melange. That's it, baby. Okay, that's and I happen it. to like that. What do you think like about middle-aged Jewish hags with microphones? Mm, I think middle-aged Jewish hags with microphones are the bum. Yeah, you we like are. <laughs> are you presenting tonight? I am, I am. I'm presenting the Wealth Fargo Thermometer, and we're going to do a check-in to make sure we're raising some money. The Wells Fargo thermometer? Absolutely. Glad can't do their work without support from the community. Is it a rectal thermometer? <laughs> I don't believe so. It's large. Okay. You're a speed skater. I am. You must have an amazing butt. It, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, how'd you get into speed skating? I a lot of Adderall? <laughs> no, I started when I was 10 in New Zealand. Are you single, married, looking? I have a boyfriend and he is over there. So is is he also there. an athlete? He is not. Oh, so he's kind of doughy. Oh, no, no. Do you, like, lord that over him? No, not at all. Oh, well, that's amazing. <laughs> Are you presenting tonight? I am on stage with three other out athletes, and we're celebrating the world of sports that has been for LGBT people this year. Score! Yeah. Could they call you a pass-around party bottom? Never. Never. <laughs> versatile top and you'll prove I'm it. more of a kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit of a kind of required taste. Okay. You know, All required, right. acquired, you know. No, I'm not a pass around person. <laughs> you got a, you got a dirty mind. What's your name, Captain? <laughs> Chuck. What brings you here, Captain? Well, we're here to support the GLAAD Awards. You just flew in? We did. Are you actually a pilot? I am a pilot. And you are? I am Patty and I am a flight attendant. A flight attendant and a pilot. I want to fly these friendly skies. Hey, tell me, um, can I get a little bit of peanuts on this flight? We'll give you as many peanuts as you want to have. Trans women are so visible right now with yourself and with the amazing Janet Mock. Why do you think this moment is when that's happening? I think really it's just that more and more of us are saying that we want to live visibly and, and live our dreams out loud and live them out in public. I think that's really it. Is there a question that you're always asked on the red carpet that you're completely over? 
Oh, what's going to happen next season? Well, then let me ask you, what's going to happen next season? Okay, this is Mike Diamond on the scene because Orange is the new black. Mwah. <laughs> so this is like Laverne and Surly. Laverne, <laughs> tell me about the success of Orange is the New Black. Were you stunned? You tell me about the success of Orange is the New Black. I think it's amazing, and I'm very proud and happy for you. I think everyone else should talk about that, and, and I should just say how amazingly grateful I am to be involved in such an incredible project with this, such incredible people mm -hmm. that's changing people's lives. Mm -hmm. Are there hair salons in prisons? Absolutely, in women's prisons. I found it really interesting that in women's prisons, women are allowed to sort of adorn themselves and they can get do hair, but in men's prisons, they're not allowed to wear weaves or get their hair done. Isn't really? That fascinating. So it's, it's very kind of sexist and misogynist in a way when you think about it. But yeah, in women's prisons, there are hair salons, yeah. Because I know like when I did my bit in prison, I, oh, I'm, lift me up off the ground, pick me up. Go on, I'm, it's an FAA requirement. Pick me up, go on, pick me up. And take off! Woo! Thank you, Captain! Here at the GLAAD Media Awards, I felt like I needed to dress up, so I wore my special black light jeans because like an episode of CSI, I'm looking for traces of sperm. They're giving me one question, so I'm going to ask it. Lips together, teeth apart. Oh, lordy! Did I stun you? You did. Great show. I didn't see that one coming. And what brings you to the GLAAD Awards, Woozy? Well, to honor these incredible people who have made such achievements in such a short time in the last few years. I mean, you know, so many of my friends have gotten married in the last year. And I just, I think tonight is about celebrating the people who are responsible for changing people's hearts and minds through media, mm -hmm. through their incredible writing, acting, directing, uh, and it, it's just thrilling to see everything that's happened. I mean, we're not there yet, but... but we're on the well, way. Oh, yeah, definitely. This is Mike Diamond with Har G. Gerald McCulloch at the GLAAD Media Awards. Thanks, baby. At the Waldorf Astoria.